Hi, my name is Judith Reedy, and I'm here today, and I have a special lesson. It's kind of crazy because uh, you never think that this is the way to learn to draw, but it actually is really super helpful. And um, I've done it with all of my students, and I've tried it, and I, I see that they, like, Eureka, but at first they feel, oh, this is weird. And so you're wondering, well, what am I going to teach you that's so weird? Well, we're going to do something where we're going to be looking at something that we're drawing, at the object we're drawing, but we're not going to look at what we're drawing. Now, have you ever heard of anything like that? Well, the reason you do that is it's like playing piano. If you look at the notes, and you're looking at the keys at the same time, you can't play piano very well. So what we're developing is eye-hand coordination. And also, we're developing our ob observation skills. And to be honest with you, when I first started doing this, I felt like a duck out of water. And I really didn't know if... Uh, but, but one thing I did like is I, I suddenly start seeing all the intricacies and shapes and so of things that I was drawing in a way that otherwise I wouldn't have been able to know that this is part of my job as being an artist, is observing. So today, that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you. Blind contour is what it's called. It's very counterintuitive. People think, well, and I must admit, when I first started doing it, my drawings did not turn out great. And um, But one thing they did, they had the character of what they did have, is they had the character of the plant or whatever it was that I draw, drew. And so um, I think it's a really good practice and I really recommend it. And so I hope that you will um, try it yourself. It's very simple. You can use just any old pencil. We'll do an advanced version sometime where I'll show you using soft lead pencils. But today we're just going to use just a regular pencil because that's going to be enough to practice. And you know the fun thing about it, you can do it anywhere. If you're sitting in your living room and you're just relaxing, you can do this on your sketchbook. And and it's just a practice. And, and you know the funny shapes you get and the interesting shapes, sometimes things are not quite proportional. You'll see as we do this progress, as we progress in this, that they will, with combined with other techniques, you can make very proportional drawings. And not only that, the drawings will be full of life. They're not going to be stiff at all. They're going to be just full of life. So there's my dog, and <laughs> I take care. I'll, I'll see you. You can watch me draw, and I'll show you the picture of the thing we're going to be drawing. 